Hey everyone, welcome back to another counter side video. So today I'm bringing you a consortium co-op battle guide. So we'll start with the screen initially before you go into your uh, consortium battle. So as you can see here, um, it's actually open already. And before we go in, you have to take note that there's a counter here on how many remaining um, days and hours you have left to complete your consortium battle. So now, as of the recording of this video, you are at 4 days and 20 hours left. Okay, so a lot of time. This video will actually focus more on the preparation for the raid boss, which is the arena stage. How to prepare for arena how to how to coordinate um, with your consortium for the arena okay guys so mainly for the consortium you have to consider um what they call this a lot of details on your screen so for the artifact storeroom this will actually tell you on what buffs or artifacts you have accumulated already so arena effects so all effects are here so you just have to filter them so these are the effects in play now so more or less you have to monitor this and try to check whether you are selecting the right kind of uh, buffs that you need for the raid boss. And also you have here your purific purification op status board so that you can, you can also see um, in terms of members on the pur purification status on where they are doing their purification. And also, you can see here your season rewards as well. So kill points, total participation rewards. So, so far, I haven't participated in, in anything. We will do that later. Okay. So the objective of this consortium co-op battle is actually to destroy this demolition worm or your raid boss. So again, this, this raid boss is kind of bad as he's a very big worm with rocky scales and once you uh, before sorry before you go through the demolition worm you have to consider all of the arenas that you have here these arenas actually will give you buffs once you complete um certain purification rates so let's take a look at the first one which is arena one you also have to consider number one the, the artifacts that are being given in this one. So you have to check whether this really applies to your co-op, uh, to your consortium, whether you guys agree on getting this or fighting this or finishing this or probably getting just a partial of this, then moving on to the next. You, have, you really have to more or less prepare for that if possible, if you can. And also you have to consider as well the level of the CO of the, or the corrupted objects that are here. Because again, some members might not be able to defeat level 80, level 100. So you have to consider that as well. So in this one, in Arena 1, you have level 50 corrupted objects. And also, might I add as well that the metal conditions, it would be really be better if you could win in 1 minute 30 so that your purification rate would be more increased rather than winning with only one medal okay so again let's go through the other arenas so for here for level uh, arena 6 you have level 80 so the artifacts are also here and at level uh, first of all, level uh, arena 11 you have here at level 80 and the artifacts as well and the highest i think is at arena 9 where the co's are at level 100 again the level of the co's dictate the um, the what you call this the the type of buffs that you'll be getting so the higher the co's the better the buffs that you'll be getting but again it would depend on on the members if they can go through levels level 100 co's for example so you have to also decide that for amongst yourselves as well um then once once you're ready to start the arenas you have to basically agree on which arena to go first let's say for example you're going to arena 11 then up to up to this the, uh, for example arena 11 then agree on up to where or which level of artifacts are you going to to be fighting for um do you wish to finish 
um, all of these until the end or you want to jump to another another arena that could happen because again the buffs are actually cumulative so as long as you you get buffs you'll be getting buffs from different arenas if you have finished buff from different arenas as you can see here so arenas uh, fx so as you can see here there are several buffs already from different arenas so you'll be getting all of them um, on your way to the demolition worm and also guys also remember that you only get three tries for arenas okay whether you're going to go to multiple arenas is going to be three tries okay so if you're going to uh, spend one try in arena 11 two tries in arena 9 it could be done but again you have to plan your tries um as well as possible again teamwork is really is really really important here communication chat with your with your consortium members through probably through uh facebook messenger or if you have any uh, any other medium like discord you can do that there so agree agree and stick to the plan that's actually the most sound advice that i could give you guys so again, um, reminder, three tries only for Arena. As you can see here, um, I still have three tries available. For every uh, entry, the, go the goal is to have three medals again. So at 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 as much as possible, defeat the boss in a minute and 30. Um, do not go, uh, what do you call, do not go more than that. For maximum purification rate. The purification rate, guys, is this one. So... Um, the higher number of medals, the, the faster that you can get purification rate. So once your purification rate reaches 100, then you receive another artifact. So that, that is how you acquire your artifacts, okay? So then also in terms of acquisition of artifacts, usually it's in order. As you can see here, we already have one, two. The next that we're working on is three. So again, before you reach to level 12, you have to go through all of these levels before you for example get this final buff so again take note of that as well um shifting from one arena is actually a factor and is actually sometimes a good tactic as well okay and also for the raid boss buffs if you're planning to go to the raid boss already or the demolition worm um here are going to be your buffs so all uh, buffs or effects are here so again i would suggest guys that all members should finish arena before going to the raid boss to maximize the buffs because again buffs will be more or less be crucial in the in, in defeating the demolition worm okay so what else when everyone has finished arena entries also coordinate with your consortium guys uh, on who has finished already uh, so that everybody can start attacking the boss when everybody has done their um, arena tries okay so as for the rewards let's go through this one first so okay so let let's have let's discuss this first for every pre um, for every purification ops, each consortium member receives two raid entry counts. So the purification ops is actually already for the main boss or the demolition worm. You can combine artifacts from the arena to strengthen your squad before joining the raid. As you can see earlier, um, the combined buffs. The HP and attack and defense of the purification ops boss increases depending on the berserker stage. So again... Um, I think the higher level of the CO, uh, sorry, the higher level of the Berserker stage, um, these stats increase for the boss as well. And the rewards, so at the end of the Purification Ops, you can get a reward depending on the boss you defeated. You can also get a season reward depending on the performance during the season. Okay, so again, rewards, as I mentioned earlier, um, there were a couple of rewards. So season rewards are here. Total participation rewards are here. So most of the, most of the rewards are going to be quartz, uh, employment contract, and classified employment contract. And you have your coalition token as well. So these are very good rewards. And for the kill points rewards, you have binaries here. You have Eternium, 
quartz as well, which will actually help us a lot in the game. Okay. So in terms of the arena, I'll go through several battles for the arena. Um, I'm going through arena 11. Um, this guide will actually be two parts. Again, mainly focusing now on the arena. The next part, I'll be focusing more on the demolition worm strategies on deployment and battle on how you should protect your ship, how you attack the, the boss. And don't forget, guys, before we start on the battle, um, the consortium co-op is going to be available for five days just a reminder because again you might forget uh, you might think it's going to be seven days but it's going to be five days so let's let's move on to arena 11 so start okay so first first battle for co-op consortium Oops, sorry. Anyway, I intended to deploy her anyway, so... Let's uh, have the buff first. Okay, not bad. It's like an overkill, actually. <laughs> overkill. I'm just gonna finish all three battles here. So again, win. 1 minute 30 seconds before 1 minute 30. So let's go and finish this off. I'm gonna use the same. I'm gonna change it up. Okay, so again, um, I expected that to be more... At, but, well, this is level 80, so I guess this is going to be easier. So let's have it change up. Level 100. I'll try to I'll try to do a level 100 later. I'm gonna check if uh, my team is going to be good at level 100. So that's going to be Arena 9. So. So the arena guys as long as your level is actually over the 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 COs I don't think you'll have a problem in terms of defeating them so let's go to arena 9 guys for my last battle okay so 24 so again there's a restriction on deployment cost so I hope this team is going to be good Um, do I have a ranger? Uh, yeah, I have a ranger. Just waiting for... Still good, though. Still good, though. I think even without awakened units, you can clear level 100. As long as um, your units are actually... Uh, what do you call this? Are actually of high level and with good gear. So I think I'm going to clear this way before 130. So yes, that's it. So again, you can clear level 100 even without awakened units. I I, I guess that's a, a smart guess based on the, the speed that I clear that one. You don't need healers apparently for even level 100 or level 9. So again, easy to clear with uh, three medals. So again, that's it guys. So... I'm actually going to wait for my consortium to finish um, their um, arena tries before I do the the worm, not do the worm, <laughs> before I I get a try at this worm. Um, this is going to be a this is a, going to be a interesting content for me personally because again it requires a lot of interaction with a lot of people and a lot of strategy as well. Okay, guys, so thank you very much for staying this far in this video. Hopefully, guys, you consider subscribing to my channel. Also, don't forget to click that bell icon so you don't miss any counter side videos. Put a, put a like, guys, on this video if you find this informative. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.